What's up everybody, this is Michael from Detail in the Shadow coming to you with another thought video. Um, the thought today is, is the craze of Lomography still relevant today? Um, I know the Lomo LCA, the Diana F Plus are still being sold, but are people still crazy about it as they were? Uh, film early in 2017 had had a big resurgence uh there was a big announcement big new recent announcement that kodak ectochrome is coming back out let's see cine still really had a big year in 2017 but i don't know maybe maybe it's just me i i see like the whole lomo thing sort of uh dying out um i know film is still around but the i think the biggest problem is film development now me Recently, my color film, I only really trust to the darkroom.com. I am not sponsored by them, but whenever I have a, a good product or a good service, I normally like to talk about it. So um, I see a lot of other people that get their film developed at other places, and it didn't really come out right. But anyway, that's enough about that. Um, but like I had a couple of places here uh, there was a lot of CVS's there was a lot of uh, drug stores that still would develop the color for you but they don't do it anymore I think that's really what's killing it um, I don't know why they really got rid of it it doesn't didn't take up a lot of time it didn't take up a lot of money and people still do sh shoot film and I believe that they would shoot film a lot more if there was accessibility to getting it developed now i can develop film whether it be black and white or color at home but i just don't have the the space for it you know i live in a very small apartment so um developing film and, and keeping everything up and having actual really light tight because your film has to be absolutely light tight there's no give in it that's a real big thought there so um i was just sitting around thinking you know so just that's just it. Uh, any of you fellow film users out there, are you still interested in Lomography? Um, I know they had the tons of the cameras, the uh, the Lomo Kino, uh, the Lomo Fisheye. Um, like I said, the big hindrance is not being able to get the film developed. Um, you know, I tried a, a dark room, but it's really hard for me. I believe that if you really want the optimum film setup you need to have it set up the same way. So if you go and rent darkroom space, it's sort of really not gonna work out because you need everything the same and you need to practice. So uh, that's the end of the rant here. If anybody else has any thoughts, please give me a comment below. Um, let me know if you're still in the Lomography. I had a Diana F Plus, but uh, it broke and it fell by the wayside and unfortunately my Minolta X370 is on the way out. My ISO control ring is no longer working so oh woe is film you know they it was uh, supposed to come back with a bang but it's uh it's so sort of dying out.